From the start, the Bears put the pack on its back. True, Green Bay generated some offense early in the game, most notably this 84-yard kickoff return by number 48, Ken Ellis. In all, the Packers squeezed 17 points out of the 98 yards in total offense they mustered. An impressive feat when you consider a minus 12 yards passing. MacArthur Lane and John Brockington were the primary reasons for the at least representative showing. The greater part of the afternoon was completely dominated by Chicago, however, as Ike Hill took the first punt and weeded back 72 yards. But there couldn't have been a more dominant figure than Bobby Douglas. The much maligned signal caller threw 10 for 15, had 100 yards rushing and scored four touchdowns. He started things off with an easy connection to a tough running Craig Cotton. With freezing temperatures, Douglas kept ball handling to a minimum, especially when it counted. While he's certainly not the best quarterback around, he's a mighty good athlete. And last Sunday, at least, that was good enough for 337 yards of offense. By the end of the afternoon, Douglas had personally run through, over, and around the Packers, sending them to their third straight defeat while lifting the Bears to their third victory in eight starts.